Meanwhile, in Johor Bahru and Kalai of Malaysia, CG volunteers are prepared with prevention methods, as well as asking the public to gather their prayers to send kind thoughts to end the epidemic. Before heading into work, the staff at the Tsuji Johor Bahru branch are asked to have their body temperature measured for prevention purposes. I'll keep the desk clean and sanitize the telephone. Every day we mop the floor to maintain its cleanliness. We have hand sanitizer prepared and also a thermometer to measure people's body temperature as they come in, so we know they're healthy. We're also advocating our members keep to a vegetarian diet. At the kindergarten, teachers put on a performance to help the students understand preventative measures while also measuring the children's body temperature three times a day. Through this performance, we want the children to understand one, not to eat meat anymore and should change to a vegetarian diet. Two, we should wash our hands frequently. Three, we need to wear masks. We hope the children can drink more water to maintain their health and be a healthy baby. This way, they won't catch the infection. The children don't know how to keep up their hygiene habits, so if a child is sick and comes to school, then other children are more likely to catch the virus. So we must make sure they're healthy and not runny a fever before they can start class. Meanwhile, at the Tsuji Kulai retreat, volunteers have invited community members to gather and send their prayers to those in need. Because I cannot do anything, I've come to pray. I hope those medical staff on the front lines can hold on. I know they're strong and I thank them for their services. This child's well wishes are really the hope of everyone. It is hoped collectively we can all pray for an end to the epidemic.